Hello everyone and welcome to this basic overview of linear regression. We may first want to ask what is regression? And we may define this as using the relationship we have between variables, which could also be referred to as the correlation, to find the best fit line or the regression equation that we can use in making predictions. Our primary focus in regression is to try to predict something. Oftentimes that means we want to predict a y value based on an x value that we may have. In order to do that, however, we need to find out what our regression equation will be, or what is our best fit line for our data set. And that's primarily what we're coming up with with this regression equation. Now, you can see with the regression equation or the basic form that we have for that, we have y prime, or the predicted value of y, will be equal to byx, which is actually the slope, times x, which is the value we'll plug in to predict y, plus ayx, which is the y-intercept. Now, what do these terms mean? Well, in order to create a line, we need to, of course, know the slope and the y-intercept and then the x-point in order to predict the y. For slope, which, of course, gives you an idea of the angle of the line and where it will fall within your data set in relation to both x and y. To calculate the slope, or to find out the slope, which we often refer to here in regression as byx, uh, what we must do is take the standard deviation of y, so we can see here in this equation right here, the standard deviation of y divided by the standard deviation of x multiplied by r. These are all familiar terms that we've already covered. So the standard deviation of y will, of course, give us uh, an idea of what our data set looks like and how the data points fall around the mean for y and how big a standard deviation is. And then, of course, the same for x. We will be dividing those two numbers and then multiplying by r. Now, r being the correlation coefficient, or Pearson's r. So you can see that we are really basing this on the relationship between those variables. So what does the variability of those uh, values look like? So how much does y vary? And what is the variance of that? And how does that compare to x? And then we multiply those numbers by r, which of course is our correlation coefficient. So again, this is all about looking at the relationship between our variables and how, what is the best fit line that that will go through our data set. So the slope gives us an idea of what that line will look like. What will the angle of that line be? So we can look at, a, for a particular data set or for a particular line, we can see what the slope may be uh, based on how steep the line is. So for a very steep line, we're going to have um, a larger slope than, for example, if we had a line that looked more like this. Uh, we could also have, of course, one that goes down. So it would be, you know, of course, a negative correlation demonstrating that as one variable increase, the other decrease, and the slope um, would give us an idea of the line going down. Now, another main feature of regression or our regression equation is our y-intercept. Now, the y-intercept is calculated as such. We have ayx is equal to the mean of y minus byx, which we, of course, calculated up here as the slope, multiplied by the mean of x. So that is how we would calculate, of course, our y-intercept. And what this y-intercept does is tells us where that line crosses the y-axis. And when a line crosses the y-axis, that means x is 0. So wherever the line crosses, our x is 0, and we need to know that value for y, and that is what our y-intercept is. So if we, let's say, for example, have a line that looks like this, then this point right here would, of course, be our y-intercept. If we had a uh, line that went like this, then our y-intercept would be right here. It would be where x is 0. If we had a line that looked like this, then our y-intercept would be down here where it crosses the x-axis. Now, once we have all these pieces of information, we can put these together in order to get our regression equation. So we can predict y if we know the slope, we know an x value that we want to plug in to get y, 
and we also know what the y-intercept is. So again, regression is all about looking at the relationship we have between variables and trying to find a line that fits our data set that we can use in making predictions. So that if we have one value, either of x or of y, we can predict the other.